The world is being built on code. It's not brick and mortar anymore. Many people don't think of Africa and think software engineers. You know, they think of Africa and you think of all those ads you see on TV. Help a child, donate to something. And we're saying, no, the new Africa, we want to be people who lead changes, positively contributing to the way the world develops. Kenya has really come into its own in terms of technology. In the last 10 years, we've seen so many different products come out of Kenya that have really changed the way we work as a country. We have this brilliant Africans that are untapped. What happens when we give them exposure to the opportunity to learn at an elite level? Andela is fulfilling a talent need. Tech companies around the world are looking for elite engineering talent to fill their growth needs. They are taking very long to develop the talent. It is really hard and expensive to retain the talent. What we do as Andela is we are finding really smart people. We are equipping them with the skills that are necessary to perform at an elite level. We then place them with partner companies looking for this talent. They commit to work with these companies because they're only with Andela for four years. So these engineering talents work with these companies and they are integrated into engineering teams. So it isn't about them going to fix a problem. They actually become part of the company's team. Previously, I had heard about Andela, but it sounded very suspicious and very strange because here was this company that was pretty much paying developers to learn how to be world-class software developers. I was very green to software development. I, I practically started from scratch. Um, I didn't come with any sort of like computer science degree or any background uh, as a programmer. And I think the magic that happens is these individuals are then able to fulfill that potential, that human potential is fulfilled. And when they are placed within the companies that come to work with them, they get their minds blown. Here at Andela, even though you've been programming for only a year or even less, you actually can have the opportunity to work with some really amazing global tech companies. We do get a lot of people coming and trying to you know, convince our developers to leave. Um, so one of the big pointers to success is, if you look at Andela, we still have a 98% retention rate across all of Andela. At Andela, we do take quite a lot of inspiration from Mandela. He is the one who gave us the inspiration for our epic values. That's excellence, passion, integrity, and collaboration. We're not just a group of individuals coming here for a paycheck. We're actually here to make impactful change and to change the world. I mean, it's an audacious belief, but I think it's an inspiring one. That's really what it means to be an Andalan. It means being epic. The only reason that a lot of these people stay is because they say, I feel part of this community, I love the culture, and I know I'm here for a while to get better, and that's why I'm going to stay. When I got the opportunity to join Andela, I mean, I jumped at it, and uh, yeah, I switched my career, changed my life. Three years ago, there was nothing, and now there's 900 uh, Andelans, software developers. Uh, they were only in New York thinking about this, and now they have hundreds of people in Lagos, in Nairobi, in Kampala. So clearly, Andela has had the time to demonstrate what is the potential of an African company is on a trajectory where it can really become a very valuable company. Is the software development market, and we're in 2018, what could be a more attractive market globally? Without DFIs, there would be no venture capital industry in Africa at this moment in history. We're part of a gigantic experiment. Telcom Tide Africa was the first venture capital fund invested by Proparco. We giving money to Andela is a great experiment. So we're all experimenting and so far it's working. 
When such huge names are investing, we feel a great deal of debt and responsibility to ensure that successes like ours are able to spur them to keep looking at the continent and saying, this is worth it.